Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back for another Dev Pro Duel video. Match number 6 in the cross ban list tournament. Uh, we are on the right side of the bracket here, so the matchup between uh, Infernities and Blackwings. Both decks at pretty much full force. Uh, the Infernity deck is um, should be yeah, pretty much uh, the first Infernity version we got here in a TCG pre trishula uh, and the second decklist, of course, is Blackwings, also at full force, because pretty much everything was still at 3, and the deck had access to, again, pretty much every uh, good uh, synchro. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the decklist. Uh, the first decklist uh, is Infernities, so with uh, 3 launchers. Um, I think this should be uh, Lazaro Bolito's decklist, uh, winning YCS decklist, I have to say. Um, yeah, I think the deck needs no introduction with uh, the tri yeah, Triple Archfiend, Triple Necromancer. Uh, the deck was still running Beetle in the early days, uh, together with Mirage, which was pretty much a huge lone fire for, uh, for the deck. Uh, combines well with uh, one for one but uh, MVP of the deck is of course your Triple Launcher. Uh, triple Inferno was a, was a huge foolish burial for the deck. Triple Bottomless, something not to forget, and uh, of course the Triple Barrier. Uh, this deck is pre Trishula uh, because uh, when we got the Infernity deck, uh, Trishula wasn't out yet here in the TCG, although it was 3 in the OCG, so the deck was uh, very, very disgusting with uh, Triple Trishula. Uh, but yeah, by the time we got Trishula and Hidden Arsenal, um, yeah, Launcher was put to 1. Uh, then the second deck list is pretty much at Black Wings at full force. Uh, everything was pretty much at three, uh, except the Dark Armed, which was at one. But uh, yeah, the Trap does shoot at the Triple Solemn Judgment, uh, Triple Whirlwind. Of course, it had access to uh, powerful uh, synchros, like for example Brionek, and of course Dark Strike Fighter, pretty the Errata, so you can still activate its effect during main phase two, and uh, pretty much burn your opponent to death. Um, yeah, before I start the matches, um, which deck has the most uh, chance, most chances to win? Uh, I think Infernity definitely has the edge uh, over Blackwings here, um, because Infernity just needs one card, one card launcher, Mirage, uh, the top deck uh, to to spam their field full of synchros. Uh, compared to Blackwings, they do need setup with Whirlwind. Um, they, they need more cards to get the OTK going. Uh, so Infernity definitely have the edge here. Uh, so let's go to the first game. Okay, so the first tool, I'll be the one playing with Blackwings. My opponent's playing Infernity, so he gets to start. Um, he has a decent hand. I mean, uh, if the Infernity deck opens with um, the Inferno, Infernity Inferno, you, you can discard up to two cards to send uh, yeah, up to that same amount of cards to discard it from Infernity monsters to the grave. Uh, so we can set up a double uh, Archfiend in his grave, and that's very huge since during his end phase he can flip over the call and get the launcher, which you know he has, and I think I have a Bottomless, and uh, Torrential set the Bottomless would have been nice if he still uh, only had uh, one Archfiend, although he has two. Here I may Maybe make a minor mistake, and uh, maybe I should have kept the bottomless uh, later uh, when he uses his uh, last uh, launcher. Uh, then I can just uh, activate Bottomless, he would probably use Stardust, and then I can chain my Torrential, since he'll eventually go for Stardust, but uh, in the end it doesn't really matter, since uh, the deck does have access to level 9 Synchros, uh, which was Misteron, and that can bounce up to 3 cards from the opponent back to the hand, so he, yeah, he would just have been able to bounce all of my back rows, and uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't really matter how I... Uh, ended up uh, activating both my traps and yeah the, the hundred eyes dragon is basically a free uh, launcher or a free barrier uh, because you can just copy one of your mirages from the grave use the effect to tribute itself and uh, yeah, I do survive, but I think he has triple barrier set. Uh, he has the, 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 what is it called, the Infernity Doom on the field. And again, he has a Stardust. I do top deck into Heavy Storm, but yeah, <laughs> triple barrier, Stardust, I mean... Uh, no, the, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going to win, uh, not going to win this one. Triple barrier is just uh, too strong. Uh, so as you saw, if the Infernity deck uh, de gets the chance to go off, it's 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 almost uh, almost game over. Um, I get to start. I think I said the MST just in case of launcher. He does have Graffer, so he can set up his grave with a Necromancer with an Archfiend. Um, I do decide to keep the MST. 
Uh, yeah, no, I decided to go for it. I mean, random typhoon hit the torrential, which was yeah, which was a very big hit. Uh, so I was thinking, yeah, probably his back row, maybe barrier, maybe infernal inferno, dust tornado, which are all de yeah, which are pretty much all dead cards and cannot stop a possible OTK. And I go for it because I know if I yeah, if he do if I don't OTK him, he will probably OTK me. Uh, so in main phase two, synchro summon for dark strike fighter. So ladies and gentlemen, this was the reason why uh, dark strike fighter got the hit in the first place uh, main phase 2 blow every monster uh, for the burn damage yeah, destroy every monster inside of the field, I have to say. And, uh, yeah, clear the victory. Yeah, clear the way for a victory. So, game number three. 1-1. One, one. Uh, again, uh, yeah, no back row, no protection. And again, the opponent, Infernities, uh, have the chance to go off with the combination of Necromancer to reborn one of their tuners. Archfiend to search out either Launcher um, or a Barrier. That, yeah, it doesn't really matter uh, how you want to set up, how you want to end. Um, I think he's going to end and with the field, with uh, Infernity Doom Dragon, with a star this time. <laughs> it's just overkill. Um, although I think I'm going to survive because he makes a minor miscalculation. I think I survive with like 50 life points. But again, he's going to end with Stardust with uh, two or three barrier. I think he has three barrier set. Uh, so again, that was pretty much Infernity with a triple launcher. You can establish a nice field with all of those powerful synchros and back up your setup with uh, two or three barrier. And that's just so brutal. Uh, the deck didn't even run Infernity Break back then. Uh, that's how disgusting it was. Uh, I get to start uh, open with Whirlwind. That's, that's, that's pretty much one of the key cards of Black Wings. I mean, if they open Whirlwind, uh, the engine gets going. You can search your monsters. You can just yeah, search your Gale, search Kalut, uh, eventually yeah, again search po a possible Blizzard. I decide to, again to go for it because I have Judgment. Um, I can stop a possible Torrential Tribute. I know the deck doesn't run the Mirror Force, uh, so I can uh, pretty much yeah be safe and again deal some nice damage. He does survive, but we know how Dark Strike fights was very overpowered before the Erwata, so I can again clear the victory, or at least, yeah, get me the victory. Get the victory uh, with the burn damage of Dark Strike Fighter. So we are going to a game 5, although he has the advantage, and that's not good if uh, you're playing against Infernities. He has the chance uh, to, go, yeah, to go off on a game, or at least, yeah, on the turn number 1, uh, so this is not good. Here I already see that I pretty much lost the duel. He can set up his grave with Archfiend, with Necromancer, and all of his tuners. Uh, I think, yeah, he has Beetles. I'm not really sure. He, have, he has a level 1 tuner. Uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, he has Stardust. I think he has two... Ar no, he has two Barrier and the Bottomless. So, yeah, my, I pretty much bricked. But even though, if I opened with Whirlwind, uh, with Shuda, he has uh, a Stardust, double Barrier and the Bottomless. So, uh, I, I, maybe I would have been able to mind control his Stardust and go from there. But, yeah, again, he has double Barrier and Bottomless. Uh, yeah, if game number 5, I wasn't going to win. Uh, due to his huge setup. So, yeah, Infernity take this. Uh, again, with a 3 2 uh, match. Uh, kind of close, but it was kind of expecting that Infernity would take it over Black Wings. Again, the, the, the one card OTKs, the one card OTK setups that Infernity can pull off is just uh, disgusting uh, compared to Black so yeah, to com to compared to Black Wings, which need uh, more setup uh, with Whirlwinds and so on. So, uh, yeah, I was kind of expecting that Infernity would uh, win this one. So Infernities are going to take on Tengu Plants in the top 8. Very interesting matchup. Uh, so we will see who's going to the top 4. So the next matchup is probably going to be Dragon Rulers. Uh, one of the public's favorites to take the tournament here. So guys, thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.